Hello there to another rendition of Mofo See That Review. I'm Mofo See That. And today we're looking at Mega Bloks Marvel Series 3 Blind Packs. So, on this series, I skipped the other two because half of them were figures I did not want that much. But this series, this is my favorite series. Because we have um, Jim Lee. Jim Lee's rendition of Cyclops. I think that's Jim Lee's rendition of Cyclops. I don't know. Sandman, Silver Surfer, Magneto, Reed, Reed Richard, Richards, or Mr. Fantastic, depending on what you want to call him. Um, here we have Havoc, our mystery figure. If anyone can tell us, tell me down below what it is, please go ahead and do so. Iceman and Spider Man. Ah, uh, haven't been reading the comics at all, but I know for sure this is the stealth Spider-Man suit that can change uh, colors. This is um, before he got the Future Foundation suit. I know for that for a fact, because I read the first issue of the Future Foundation. I didn't buy it, but hey, I definitely read it. So. Let me get some scissors so I can actually open up the bloody packaging. I'll just open all of them halfway. Since, because for some reason, even though this is marketed for kids, there is no uh, pre cut place for any. Kids just, just rip it apart. You would think they would do that since this most companies market market toys for kids. That's pretty lazy of them. I'll just open these about half. Seventy five percent. Seventy five percent of the way there. So I can stuff my giant hand down there. Now, since I bought um, three of these, I would like to have each one be separate figures that I like. So, ooh, since I don't know what mystery figures, I definitely can't include it in my top three. I'm gonna do top three since I do not, since I only have three. Oh, I would go from third to first. I would go. Okay, it's a tie between the Silver Surfer and Iceman since they're just basically the same body struck body, but they just translucent silver paint. Okay. Second would be Jim Lee's Cyclops, and my first choice would be a uh, stealth suit of uh, Spider-Man, so I'll, I know for a fact that there is like a paper in here, so I'll just... I'm not going to take a look, but the uh, definitely smells like plastic, so I'm going to take all the... I'm not looking at the figures yet, so I'm just going to take a bloody look at the... It's a good thing I did 75% or else I wouldn't have been able to get the damn things out. So yeah, I, I know these are basically the same thing. So I'm just good with the bigger ones. And this was folded differently than the other two, so I'll go with the larger one. So I'll just move over to this side, and I'll open it. Alright, so first off, let's go review um, the first one. Green Goblin, Black Suit. Actually, I would rather have find Series 1. So funny, they spelled Series wrong. 
Green Goblin, Black Spider-Man, War Machine, Armored Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Invincible, Iron Man, Venom. Okay, I would have liked to have the first series. Because most of these characters I would want. And I would rather have doubles of these instead. Two Wolverine, Thor, Loki, Drone, Replash. Okay, so this was the movie one. And it focused more on Iron Man and uh, Thor and all the movie characters. Of course, since Wolverine hasn't starred in a movie in a while, he has to be the bloody rare one. Whatever, Green Goblin was rare once, if that's Alright, so let's see who is rare. So, okay, so this is good. All of these, ooh, Miss Fantastic comes with a bloody gun. Um, okay, so these uh, are common, so I'll probably get doubles of these, but... Silver Surfer is the freaking rare one. Okay, I, I, can, I can live. Okay, but Cyclops and Stealth Spiderman are, are the rare ones. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm gonna keep buying these until I get them. I don't know what the statistics are of me getting them. But I will definitely get them. I'll buy as many as I can to get the ones I want. And that's probably all of this wave. Okay, so so I'm gonna see which one. Any mini one I want to check. I'll take this one. These ahead. Right here now. Let's see if I can identify it by the arm. Oh, this is a leg. So this is either Stealth Spider-Man or Havoc. Let's take another block. This is Havoc. This is most definitely Havoc. I can tell right bloody away that it was Havoc. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Havoc. Yeah, Havoc's alright. He's alright, character. Let's go through the articulation before we go. There's a hole in the back, so if any character has his backpack, you can just do it. He has weird articulation. The outer waist joint can move, but so can this joint independently. I think it would be better if they molded this be just one piece. So the legs can go like this. Look really weird. But whatever, let's attach the legs in. This is just basic articulation in the knee. So let's Okay, because of the angle of the feet, you can only do something like this. So if they just would have like made like a free block, that'd have been an easier stand because you don't have all this extra space on the side. Whatever, but basic articulation in the elbow, and there is a wrist swivel. As all happens to be in any Lego and other lines related. Figuring there is this weird energy flame weapon that kind of looks like hair. It's like if Phoenix had flaming, you know, it rather looks like Ghost Rider when he had the blue flame on him. That's weird.
Okay, so the arm cannot go a lot. It just goes about that way. The leg, I'm pre the leg can go this much out, this much in. So it's out, this much in. So it's kind of human proportioned as far as how far the limbs go. But you know, here's the Havoc's head, which really reminds me a lot of Gambit because of his eyes and his mask style. So let's do this. Pop this head on. As expected, it has full articulation, so I'll just... Eh, it's, a, it's like an eh to me, but alright, alright, I can live with Havoc. That was a pretty good figure, so I'll leave that to the side. And I will go back over here and get a limb out. If I can find a limb or whatever. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. A translucent green block. And for what I've seen from uh, the review spot, review of series 2, the block matches one of the characters' basic color or one of their secondary colors. And I'm pretty sure this is a secondary color, but guess what I got? Oh, God, I'm so excited. Let's just dump this out right now. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited! I've got the um the the self suit Spider Man, which is so freaking awesome, so awesome right now. I'm so I'm so elated. I'm very elated. I'm so happy. I can only express it through very large words. So pretty nice. It's like, so happy! I'm so happy. I, I've I've got my number one choice. It is bloody fantastic. I've got my number one choice within my first buy. I am so freaking happy. I'm so happy. And it would, you know, it would have been cooler if this was glow in the dark, because this, this light green if it glows in the dark, like it does in the comics, that'd been so awesome too. But whatever, whatever. Oh, oh, oh! Imagine too if this, the entire body, was actually translucent, and it just painted it all black, and you could have like lights under here, and, like glowed up, and then like oh, it just glows in. The, oh my god. Okay, that is a custom I'm gonna do when I can do a master mode of this, then uh, make a uh, a color that uh, will make a trans oh an opaque green color. So. Uh, this is actually pretty rubbery, I'm guessing. This might be his what what is webbing supposed to look at when it comes out? <laughs> looks more like a whip, like if it was one of Whiplash's whip, because it looks like it goes in here. But I'm just gonna try push it up like this, and maybe I'm just. So yeah. <laughs> and it's right. I already spent half of a half hour just just on two of these. So so I'm I'm, I'm very excited. I have Stealth Spider-Man. I'm very bloody happy. Now if I get the freaking mystery figure, I am gonna be. Going all out of my bloody mind. So let's pull the block out. 
It's another black one, so it could be some other figures. It's a black leg. Here's another leg. I got, I got a duplicate. Okay, I got a duplicate Havoc. Okay, I can expect that if I, I would have gotten a duplicate in this review, because it says right here, he's, uh, he's pretty damn common, so, whatever. At least I got my number one pick for this wave. So since my luck was already so good, I'm gonna buy another one and I hope I can get at least the rest of this top wave and maybe these free figures here and these free figures here so I can get um oh yeah this one is mainly on the X-Men so Yeah, so I can have Silver Surfer and Mr. Fantastic again, and him and him, and then I can have uh, Bobby team up with Peter since uh, they were in, they were roommates, I think, because I remember that old uh, animated series where him, Spidey, and another mutant, it's Firestar, I think her name was Firestar. Uh, as college roomies and have him and him fighting Sandman him and him fighting him and him these two fighting who knows but that's 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 a pretty good haul I can say so I'm pretty happy uh, that I got him so I'll just I'll get Havoc back in front now if this was multiple man now I'd be perfectly happy with getting duplicates uh, but I'll think I'll get, I'll give one of my friends, him, Havoc. So I'm gonna, oh, uh, when I see him in school again, so, uh, I'll try again on Monday, and then we'll see how my luck fares next time, so, I am mofo, see that? Uh, stay tuned for more, and always, thank you.